Dog Man in the U.S., Volume 2. Nebraska to Alaska. Nebraska. In August of 2019, a camper was sitting at the edge of a lake in Dodge County, Nebraska. He saw a dog's head with a human's torso laying on a log in the water, about 10 feet away from him. The creature seemed to be observing him and became nervous when he noticed it. It looked towards the bank and back to him several times, as if communicating with someone or something else. The camper felt panic and fear and ran back to his campsite, about a quarter of a mile away. He did not see any other creatures on the bank as he ran away. He later found out about dogman encounters and realized that he had seen a dogman that night. This second report was submitted by a woman who saw a dogman on her farm in Fremont, Nebraska, in 2020. She described it as a huge, hairy beast with a long snout, pointed ears, and glowing red eyes. It was running on all fours and chasing her cattle. The witness grabbed her shotgun and fired at it, but it seemed unfazed by the buckshot. It snarled and lunged at her, but she managed to flee to her barn, where she barricaded the door. She heard the dogman banging and scratching at the door, but it eventually gave up and ran away. She contacted the local sheriff, but he did not believe her and accused her of shooting at a neighbor's dog. She later found out that there had been other reports of livestock attacks and strange noises in the area both recent and going back decades. This third report was submitted by a man who saw a dogman near his cabin in Lincoln, Nebraska, in 2021. He described it as a massive, shaggy creature with a human-like torso, arms, and legs, and a wolf-like head with a tail and claws. It was standing on two legs and staring at him from the woods. The witness felt paralyzed with fear and could not move or scream. The dogman tilted its head and made a low growl, then slowly walked away into the trees. The witness regained his senses and ran to his cabin, locking himself inside. He contacted the local wildlife agency, but they told him that he had probably seen a cocaine bear or a cocaine coyote. He later found out that there had been other sightings of a similar creature in the area. South Dakota This encounter happened in Pennington County, near Rapid City, in June of 2019. The witness was driving on a dirt road at night when he saw a large, dark figure standing on two legs by the side of the road. He slowed down and turned on his high beams, and was shocked to see a creature that looked like a wolf-man hybrid. It had a muscular body covered in black fur, a long snout, pointed ears, yellow eyes, and long claws. It was about seven feet tall and had a long tail. The witness said it looked at him with an intelligent and menacing expression, then turned and ran into the woods on two legs. He sped away and did not look back. He reported his encounter to the Dogman Encounters website and said he was terrified by what he saw. This encounter happened in Minnehaha County, near Sioux Falls, in October of 2020. The witness was walking his dog in a park at dusk when he heard a loud howl coming from the woods nearby. He initially thought it as a coyote, but then he a huge creature emerged from the trees. It looked like a cross between a bear and a wolf, but it stood upright on its hind legs. It had thick brown fur, a broad chest, a hunched back, a long muzzle, pointed ears, 
and glowing red eyes. It also had sharp teeth and claws, and a bushy tail. It stared at the witness and his dog for a few seconds, then let out another howl and charged at them. The witness grabbed his dog and ran back to his car, barely escaping the creature's attack. He said he felt like it was hunting them, not just defending its territory. He reported his encounter to the BFRO website and said he never wanted to go back to that park again. This encounter happened in Lawrence County, near Deadwood, in April of 2021. The witness was camping with his friends in the Black Hills National Forest when they heard strange noises outside their tents at night. They thought it was a raccoon or deer at first, but then they heard something ripping their cooler open. They grabbed their flashlights and went outside to investigate, and saw a horrific sight. There was a creature that looked like a giant dog standing over their cooler, eating their food. It had gray fur, a long face, pointed ears, black eyes, and a long tongue. It was about six feet tall and had a muscular build. It noticed the and growled, showing its large fangs. It then picked up the cooler with one hand and threw it at them, hitting one of them in the chest. It then ran away on all fours, leaving behind claw marks on the ground. The witness and his friends packed up their stuff and left the campsite as fast as they could. They reported their encounter to the crawler sighting subreddit and said they were traumatized by what had happened that night. North Dakota This encounter happened in June of 2021 near Minot, North Dakota. The witness was driving on a rural road at night when he saw a large dark figure on the side of the road. He slowed down and turned on his high beams to get a better look. He was stunned to see a creature that looked like a wolf standing on its hind legs, with a muscular body, long arms, and a bushy tail. The creature had yellow eyes that reflected the light and a snarling expression on its face. The witness felt a surge of fear and pissed all over himself while simultaneously punching his gas pedal and accelerating away from the scene. He later reported his sighting to the North American Dogman Project. This second encounter happened in October of 2020 near Bismarck, North Dakota. The witness was hiking with his dog in a wooded area when he heard a loud howl that sounded like a mix of a wolf and a man. He looked around and saw a huge creature running towards him from the trees. The creature was about seven feet tall, covered in black fur, with a wolf-like head, pointed ears, and sharp teeth. The witness grabbed his dog and ran back to his car, while the creature continued to chase him for a few seconds before stopping and letting out another terrifying howl. The witness drove away as fast as he could and contacted the Dogman Encounters website soon after to relay his experience. This encounter happened in the winter of 2019 near Fargo, North Dakota. TH Witness was snowmobiling with his friends on a frozen lake when they noticed some tracks in the snow that looked like large paw prints. They followed the tracks for a while until they reached a clearing where they saw a massive creature standing on two legs, holding a deer carcass in its hands. The creature had gray fur, a long snout, and piercing red eyes. It dropped the deer and roared at them, showing its claws and fangs. The witness and his friends turned around and sped away from the creature, which did not pursue them. They later shared their story with the North American Dogman Project. Wyoming
These next three encounters were given in the first person. I was camping with my family near the Medicine Bow National Forest in July of 2021. We had set up our tent near a small creek and were enjoying the night sky. Around midnight, we heard a loud howl that sounded like a mix of a wolf and my mother-in-law. It was so loud that it made us jump. We grabbed our flashlights and looked around, but we didn't see anything. Then we heard another howl, closer this time, and then we caught sight of a pair of glowing red eyes in the bushes. It was a huge creature, at least seven feet tall, with dark fur, a muscular body, and a wolf-like head. It stared at us with a menacing look and bared its teeth. We were terrified and ran back to our tent, hoping it would leave us alone. But it didn't. It circled our tent, growling and scratching the fabric. We could hear its heavy breathing and smell its foul odor. It seemed to be toying with us, trying to scare us more. We prayed for dawn to come, but it felt like an eternity. Finally, after what seemed like hours, it stopped and we heard it run away. We packed up our things as fast as we could and left the area. We never went back there again. Here is the second report. I was driving home from work on a rural road in November of 2020. It was dark and foggy, and I was the only car on the road. I was listening to some music and trying to stay awake when I saw something dart across the road in front of me. I slammed on the brakes and swerved to avoid hitting it. I thought it was a deer or a coyote, but when I looked into my rearview mirror, I saw something else. It was a creature that looked like a man with a wolf's head. It had long arms and legs, covered in black fur, with a long bushy tail. It stood up on two legs and looked at me with glowing yellow eyes. It had a snout full of sharp teeth and pointed ears. It snarled at me and ran into the woods on the other side of the road. I was shocked and scared, and I drove away as fast as I could. I didn't tell anyone close to me what I saw, because I thought they would think I was crazy. And here is the third encounter for Wyoming. I was hiking with my dog in the Grand Teton National Park in September of 2019. We were on a trail that led to a lake, and we were enjoying the scenery and the fresh air. We had been walking for about an hour when we came across a clearing with some fallen trees. My dog started to bark and growl, and I noticed that he was looking at something behind one of the trees. I thought it was a bear or a mountain lion, so I grabbed my pepper spray and got ready to throw my dog at it and defend myself. But then I saw what it was, and I couldn't believe my eyes. It was a dog man, a creature that looked like a cross between a man and a dog. It had brown fur, a human-like torso, and a dog-like head. It had hands with claws and feet with paws. It was crouching behind the tree, watching us with curiosity and intelligence. It didn't seem aggressive, but it didn't seem friendly either. It tilted its head and made a low whine, as if trying to communicate with us. My dog kept barking and pulling on his leash, trying to get closer to it. I didn't know what to do, so I slowly backed away from it, keeping my eyes on it. It didn't follow or attack us, but it didn't leave either. It just stayed there, watching us until we were out of sight. Idaho This encounter happened in the summer of 2017, near Boise, Idaho. The witness was a young man who was camping with his friends in a remote area. He decided to go for a walk alone at night, while his friends were sleeping in their tents. 
He had a flashlight and a knife with him, but he felt uneasy as he walked through the dark woods. He heard some rustling noises behind him, and turned to see a large, hairy creature standing upright like a man. It had a wolf-like head, with pointed ears and glowing yellow eyes. It also had a muscular body, covered in dark brown fur, and long arms that ended in clawed hands. The witness was terrified and froze in place, as the creature stared at him intently. He felt that the creature was intelligent and curious, but also predatory and dangerous. He slowly backed away, hoping not to provoke it, but the creature followed him at a distance, keeping pace with him. The witness reached his campsite and woke up his friends, telling them what he had seen. They quickly packed up their things and left the area, without seeing the creature again. This next encounter happened in the fall of 2018, near Rupert, Idaho. The witness was a middle-aged woman who lived on a farm with her husband and two dogs. She was outside one evening, feeding her horses, when she noticed something odd in the nearby cornfield. She saw a tall figure moving through the stalks, making a lot of noise. She thought it was a person at first, but then realized that it was too big and fast to possibly be a human. She grabbed her shotgun and aimed it at the figure, shouting at it to identify itself or leave. The figure stopped moving and emerged from the cornfield, revealing itself to be a monstrous creature that resembled a wolf-man hybrid. The creature was about seven feet tall, with a broad chest and shoulders, and long legs. It had gray fur, but its face was mostly bare skin. It had a long snout, with sharp teeth and a black nose. It also had pointed ears, a bushy tail, and amber eyes that glowed in the dark. The witness was shocked and scared by the sight of the creature, but she held her ground and kept her shotgun pointed at it. The creature snarled and growled at her, showing its aggression and hostility. It then lunged at her, trying to attack her. The witness fired her shotgun at it, hitting it in the chest. The creature stumbled back, but did not fall down. It looked at its wound and then at the witness, as if surprised by her resistance. It then turned around and ran back into the cornfield, disappearing from sight. Montana This encounter happened in 2016, near Red Lodge, Montana. The witness was driving on a dirt road at night, when he saw a large, dark figure standing on the side of the road. He slowed down and switched on his high beams, expecting to see a bear or a moose. Instead, he saw a creature that looked like a huge wolf, standing on its hind legs. It had a muscular body, long arms, clawed hands, and a wolf-like head with pointed ears and glowing yellow eyes. It was covered in black fur and had a bushy tail. The witness estimated that it was about 8 feet tall and must have weighed over 400 pounds. The creature stared at him for a few seconds, then turned and ran into the woods on two legs with incredible speed and agility. The witness was terrified and sped away as fast as he could. He later reported his sighting to the Dogman Encounters website. This second encounter happened in 2019, near Great Falls, Montana. The witness was camping with his girlfriend and their dog in a secluded area near the Missouri River. They had set up their tent near a clearing in the woods where they could see stars. Around midnight, they heard a loud howl coming from the opposite side of the river. It sounded like a mix of a wolf and a man, and it echoed through the valley. They thought it was strange, 
but they didn't pay much attention to it. A few minutes later, they heard another howl, this time closer and louder. They got out of their tent and looked across the river, where Hay saw a large silhouette standing on a hilltop. It looked like a giant wolf, but it was standing upright like a man. It had long arms, broad shoulders, and a massive head with pointed ears and glowing red eyes. It was covered in dark brown fur and had a long ail that swayed behind it. It howled again, then jumped off the hill and ran towards the river on two legs. The witness and his girlfriend grabbed their dog and ran to their car, which was parked nearby. They drove away as fast as they could, while the creature chased them along the riverbank. They managed to lose sight of it after a few miles, but they continued to hear its howls fading into the distance. California This first encounter happened in 2018, near the town of Slow House. The witness was driving home from work around 11 p.m. when he saw a large, dark figure standing on the side of the road. He slowed down to get a better look and realized it was a creature that looked like a wolf standing on two legs. It had a muscular body, a long snout, pointed ears, and glowing yellow eyes. It was about seven feet tall and covered in black fur. The witness felt a surge of fear and sped away, hoping that the creature wouldn't chase him. He said he had never seen anything like it before, and he was sure it was not a bear or a dog. This second encounter happened in 2019, near the town of Pescadero. The witness was camping with his girlfriend and their dog in a secluded area near the coast. They were sleeping in their tent when they heard a loud howl that woke them up. They thought it was a coyote, but then they heard something moving around their campsite. They peeked out of their tent and saw a huge creature that looked like a cross between a wolf and a man. It had a human-like torso, arms, and legs, but a wolf-like head, tail, and claws. It was about eight feet tall and covered in brown fur. It was sniffing their cooler and their dog's food bowl. The witness grabbed his gun and fired a warning shot into the air. The creature looked at them with red eyes, growled, and then ran away on two legs into the surrounding forest. This third encounter happened in 2020, near the town of Reading. The witness was a teenage girl who lived in a rural area with her family. She was in her bedroom, watching TV, when she noticed something outside her window. She saw a large, hairy creature that looked like a wolf standing on two legs. It had a long muzzle, pointed ears, and sharp teeth. It was about six feet tall and covered in gray fur. It was staring at her with yellow eyes, and it seemed to be smiling. The witness screamed and ran to her parents' room. Her father grabbed his rifle and went outside to investigate, but he did not find anything. The witness said she was terrified by the encounter, and that she now always makes sure to keep her curtains closed at night. Oregon This encounter happened in June of 2019, near the town of Sweet Home, in Lynn County, Oregon. The witness was camping with his girlfriend and their dog in a secluded spot near a creek. They had set up their tent and were relaxing by the fire when they heard a loud splash in the water nearby, followed by a deep growl. They looked up and saw a large, dark figure standing on the opposite bank of the creek, about 30 feet away. 
The witness described it as having a wolf-like head, pointed ears, yellow eyes, and a long snout. It had a muscular body covered in black fur, and long arms that ended in clawed hands. It was about seven feet tall and had a long tail that swayed behind it. The creature stared at them for a few seconds, then let out another growl and bared its teeth. The witness grabbed his shotgun and fired a warning shot into the air, hoping to scare it off. The creature flinched, but it didn't run away. Instead, it crouched down and started to move towards them, as if it was going to attack. The witness fired another shot, this time aiming at the creature's chest. He said he heard a thud as the shot hit, but he wasn't sure if he wounded it or not. The creature stopped moving and looked at them with an angry expression. Then it turned around and ran into the woods, disappearing from sight. The witness and his girlfriend quickly packed up their things and left the area, fearing that the creature might come back. This second encounter took place in October of 2020, on the central Oregon coast, near the town of Lincoln City. The witness was driving on Highway 101 at night, when he saw something cross the road in front of him. He said it was about eight feet tall and had a wolf-like head, pointed ears, amber eyes, and a long snout. It had a muscular body covered in brown fur and long arms that ended in clawed hands. It was holding something in its right hand that looked like a deer carcass. It ran across the road in two strides, then leaped over the guardrail and disappeared into the trees. The witness slowed down and looked for any signs of the creature, but he didn't see anything else. He said he felt a chill run down his spine as he realized what he had just seen. This third encounter happened in August of 2021, in the Tillamook State Forest, in Tillamook County, Oregon. The witness was hiking with his friend on a trail that led to a waterfall when they heard some rustling noises in the bushes nearby. They thought it might be a deer or a bear, so they stopped and waited for it to come out. They were surprised when they saw a large, hairy creature emerge from the foliage. The witness described it as having a wolf-like head, pointed ears, blue eyes, and a long snout. It had a muscular body covered in gray fur, and long arms that ended in clawed hands. It was about nine feet tall and had a long tail that dragged on the ground. The creature looked at them with curiosity, then tilted its head and made a whining sound. It seemed to be friendly and harmless, so the witness decided to take out his phone and try to take a picture of it. He said he managed to snap one photo before the creature noticed what he was doing and became agitated. It snarled and barked at them, then charged towards them with its mouth open. The witness and his friend ran for their lives, dropping their backpacks and phone along the way. They reached their car and drove away as fast as they could, leaving behind their belongings and their evidence. Washington This first encounter happened in June of 2022, near the town of Granite Falls. The witness, who wishes to remain anonymous, was hiking with his dog on a trail that leads to a waterfall. He said he heard a loud growl from behind him, and turned around to see a large, wolf-like creature standing on two legs about 50 feet away. He described it as having dark brown fur, yellow eyes, pointed ears, and a long snout. It was about seven feet tall and had muscular arms and legs. He said it looked angry and aggressive and bared its teeth at him. 
He grabbed his dog and ran back to his car, while the creature followed him for a short distance before disappearing into the woods. He said he was terrified and never went back to that trail again. This second encounter happened in August of 2022, near the town of Cougar. The witness, who goes by the name of Custard Butt, was camping with his girlfriend at the Merrill Lake campground. He said they heard wood knocks and whoops from across the lake at night, and thought it might be sack squash activity. The next morning, they decided to kayak around the lake and explore the area. As they approached the opposite shore, they saw a strange animal standing on the bank. It looked like a huge wolf or dog, but it was standing upright on its hind legs. It had gray fur, black claws, and a long bushy tail. It stared at them with red eyes, and then let out a loud howl that echoed across the lake. Custard but said they paddled away as fast as they could, while the creature watched them from the shore. He said he felt it was warning them to stay away from its territory. He said he was shocked and confused by what he saw, and wondered if it was a dogman or a werewolf. This third encounter happened in September of 2022, near the town of Stevenson. The witness, who goes by the name of Maurice, was camping with her family at the Forlorn Lakes campground. She said they heard strange noises from the woods at night, such as branches breaking, footsteps, and low growls. They also noticed that their food cooler was raided and their tent was scratched by something with sharp claws. The next day, they decided to hike around the lake and look for signs of wildlife. As they were walking along the trail, they saw a large animal dart across the path ahead of them. It looked like a big dog or wolf, but it was running on two legs like a human. It had black fur, pointed ears, and a long muzzle. It glanced at them briefly with yellow eyes, and then disappeared into the trees. Maurice said they were stunned and scared by what they saw, and wondered if it was a dogman or a skinwalker. She said they packed up their stuff and left the campground as soon as possible after that. Alaska This first report is from a couple who were hiking near Wrangell St. Elias National Park in October of 2021. They say that they encountered a dogman while they were on a trail. They say that it was about seven feet tall, covered in black fur, and had a long snout with pointed ears. They say that it walked on two legs and was carrying a large stick in its hand. They claim that it approached them slowly and growled at them. They tried to back away from it, but the creature followed them. They say that they managed to scare it off by throwing rocks and sticks at it, and then they quickly made haste back to their car and putt putted away. This second report is from a witness named Fellatio Hornblower, who claims he saw a large wolf-like creature standing on two legs in Fairbanks, Alaska, on June 12, 2019. He says he was driving on the Steese Highway when he noticed something moving in the trees. He said he pulled over and saw the creature emerge from the woods and cross the road. He says it was about seven feet tall, had dark brown fur, a long snout, and yellow eyes. He says it looked at him briefly and then disappeared into the forest. He later reported his encounter to the Phantom and Monsters website. This third and final report is from a witness named Pancake Face, who claims she saw a huge black creature with a dog-like head and human-like booty in Anchorage, Alaska, on March 3, 2018. 
She says she was hiking with her dog on the Camel Creek Trail when she heard a loud growl. She says she turned around and saw the creature standing behind a tree about 50 feet away. She says it was about 8 feet tall, had black fur, a muscular torso, and long arms with claws. She says it stared at her with red eyes and then ran away on two legs. She says she and her dog ran back to the car and drove away without looking back. This report was found on the website, Cryptozoology News. Well my friends, that brings us to the conclusion of the second volume of my Dogman in the United States series. I hope you liked it. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there.